Mr. Clerk. The next person to testify is Lauren Rago, testifying on County Communication 14-166. Ms. Rago will be followed by further testimony from our Molokai District Office. Good morning. Good morning. Aloha Council. My name is Lauren Rago, and I would like to provide testimony in support of Communication 14166. In March, I found a lab on the mainland that offers testing for glyphosate in urine. For those that don't know, glyphosate is the active ingredient in Monsanto's Roundup. Originally discovered and patented by Monsanto, other manufacturers of glyphosate include Bayer, DuPont, and Dow. All of these companies have a stake in the Hawaii seed and biotech industry. We need to remind ourselves that these farmers that are opposed to this bill are employed by these chemical companies. And the genetically modified seeds that they are growing are nothing more than mechanisms to sell more of their chemicals, including glyphosate, the biggest seller of all time. When I learned that there was a way to test my urine for glyphosate, I bought the test right away. I live a very clean life. I eat well, I have an organic garden, I've never bought weed killer in my life, I don't live near any fields, not a soccer field, a cane field, a GMO field, nothing. Why would I have glyphosate in my urine? Truthfully, I thought I was going to test undetectable. I researched glyphosate urinalysis and came across the Farm Family Exposure Study. Conducted in the year 2000, this study was sponsored by both Monsanto and Dow. This is their study, so these aren't numbers that they can discredit. What they did is they took farmers who were spraying at least 10 acres with glyphosate and they tested their urine. On the day of application, they found on average, a farmer who mixed and applied Roundup with gloves on tested around two parts per billion, and a farmer who did so without gloves tested around 10 parts per billion. Imagine my surprise when my results came back at 10.5 parts per billion higher than a farmer spraying 10 acres at a time without wearing gloves. What does this mean? I would like to have children someday. One doctor has suggested that it would be unadvisable to conceive at this level. These meetings tend to bring out a lot of testimony from people on the clock who repeat the same story. I love my job. I trust my employer. I would know if we were doing something harmful. I am here to tell all of you I am a living, breathing example that something Monsanto is doing has gone wrong. There is no reason why I should test at this level of weed killer in my urine, given the lifestyle that I live. So let's just slow it down. Let's stop what we're doing and let's conduct some tests. Let's find out what else is being sprayed and let's test for that too. I think that's only sensible. I am aware that this testimony may or not sway the council, but if a single Monsanto or Mycogen employee out there listening puts it together that if I have this going on in my system, that they might want to start thinking about what's going on in their bodies, then getting up here will have been worth it. I forwarded everyone my test results last night and links to the studies that I cited. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Members, any need to clarify the testimony? Seeing none, thank you.